Battle Through the Heavens Chapter 78, Training and Training and Then Breakthrough Chapter 78, Training and Training and Then Breakthrough Only after seeing the black-clothed man walked out of the lounge, satisfied with the ingredients in his hand, could Yafei finally relax her shoulders. Her body was cuddled up on top of the chair, making her look like a curled-up fox. This lethargic position of hers had a peculiar charm to it. A Euro Arathi's dear Sir A Euro is truly daring A Euro said Yafei with her head stuck to the cool back of the chair. Beside her, Gu Ni was rubbing his forehead, sighing, A Euro F5 pills of gathering chi powder A Euro eat A Euro trademark S true that he Euro trademark S a fourth tier alchemist, but still, isn't a Euro trademark T his way of conducting business a bit grand? Yafei nodded and pursed her red, small lips before proceeding to mock herself. A Euro E I thought I could last against his pressure, but who would a Euro trademark V E thought a Euro A Euro. Gu N I laughed, replying, A Euro or if it were me in your shoes, I a Euro trademark am afraid I would a Euro trademark V E gave in by the time he mentioned the third pill. You were able to exceed my expectations and persevere until the fifth, so be proud of it A Euro. A Euro or what I showed was perseverance? Upon hearing his offer, my mind blanked out and so I was a Euro trademark T able to think straight. But who would a Euro trademark V E thought a Euro that he would be so forward with his request and threw in two extra pills a Euro said Yafei while rolling her eyes. She couldn't a Euro trademark T refrain from laughing at the situation. A Euro well facts are facts and your mind blanking out helped the primer auction house rake in an extra 400,000 income a Euro expressed Gu Ni while laughing after he heard her explanation. Yafei used her hand to cover up her mouth, letting out a few tender laughs. As she started to get up from her chair, she sighed, A Euro e looks like the Jialai clan is in for it now A Euro. Gu and I agreed as well, nodding his head. A Euro e but doesn't A Euro trademark T it seem a bit suspicious? Isn't A Euro trademark T our dear sir supposed to be a complete stranger to the Xiao clan? Why is he helping them so much? He Euro trademark s even willing to spare five pills of chi gathering powder to cut off the Jialiklan a Euro trademark s supply chain a Euro Yafei said while a hint of suspicion flashed across her eyes. A Euro or you who knows a Euro our respected alchemist sure is mysterious, is a Euro trademark t he? I did a Euro trademark t know that the Jiama empire had a figure like him a Euro said Gu and I helplessly. Yafei nodded slightly, her eyes wandering. After muttering a bit, she replied, A Euro e looks like having a phenomenal relationship with the Xiao clan will be a must. With these pills, I A Euro trademark VE increased the profits of the auction house by fourfold. Lead A Euro trademark SC if anyone can surpass me at the next employee assessment, shall we, A Euro? After these words were said, the ends of her red lips formed a smile. With hands behind her back, she exited the lounge while humming a song to herself. A Euro A Euro Walking out of the auction house, Xiao Yan let out a long sigh, in a low voice he said, A Euro Editor, thank you very much A Euro. A Euro or wait A Euro trademark S there to thank, if the Jialai clan is not stamped to the ground would you be able to concentrate when I bring you on the training journey, A Euro Yao Lao helplessly replied. A Euro A Hihi dot A Euro Xiao Yan grinned. Without any further words he followed his usual twisting and turning about the street's routine before taking off the black mantle in an empty corner and carefully exiting the street, heading towards the Xiao clan. Back at the clan, when Xiao Yan occasionally met another clan member, he could feel that their gazes were filled with even more envy. Evidently, word of what had happened in the hall today had spread amongst the clan. Xiao Yan ignored these looks as he continued his slow journey towards his room. As he turned a corner, a girl in red suddenly appeared in a head-on collision course. Thankfully Xiao Yan braked to a halt in time, successfully avoiding the awkward crash that had threatened to unfold. A Euro Xiao Yan Ge Ge? I A Euro trademark V E finally found you A Euro the girl in red retreated a step back and lifted her head. Her young and pure face contained its own type of charm. The combination was a bit contradictory causing the girl to have a little more indescribable charm compared to other girls of the similar age, 
This kind of charm even made Xiao Yan glance a few more times. This girl whose face was filled with joy was none other than Xiao Mei. Xiao Yan a Euro trademark s gaze swept across Xiao Mai a Euro trademark s pretty face. Rubbing his nose, he asked in a monotonous voice, A Euro or is there anything, A Euro? As she heard this somewhat unfamiliar greeting, Xiao Mai a Euro trademark s radiant face slightly darkened, in a low voice she answered, a Euro or clan leader wants Xiao Yan Ji Ji to make a trip to the study room A Euro. A Euro erm, A Euro slightly startled, Xiao Yan nodded and smiled in reply, A Euro or Ya okay, got it, thanks A Euro he waved goodbye before turning towards the study room located in the front courtyard. A Euro Xiao Yan Biao Ji, thank you for before A Euro Xiao Mei softly said as she watched Xiao Yan A Euro trademark as straightforward and clear cut steps walking away. A flash of disappointment could be seen in her eyes as she bit her lip. Xiao Yan paused his step as he elegantly waved towards Xiao Mei without turning, coolly replying, A Euro no problem A Euro. Staring at Xiao Yan a Euro trademark s retreating figure, all of a sudden, Xiao Mei gathered her courage to ask, A Euro Xiao Yan Biao Ji, will you be participating in the enrollment test for Jianan Academy, A Euro? A euro he may be dot a euro with both hands on the back of his head, Xiao Yao slowly and gradually left, leaving behind this word. When Xiao Mei heard Xiao Yan a euro trademark s reply, her overcast but pretty face finally brightened. Pinching her hands into a fist, she stood on the spot as she looked as Xiao Yan a euro trademark s figure finally faded from sight before lightly and bitterly sighing and turning around to leave. A euro a euro. Xiao Yan strolled about in the clan before he finally arrived in front of a spacious room. Lightly knocking on the door, he slowly pushed the door open and entered. In the room, Xiao Zhan and the three elders were discussing something but as they saw Xiao Yan enter, they closed their mouths in unison. A Euro a father, you were looking for me, A Euro with a smile on his face, Xiao Yan walked up and asked. Xiao Zhan smiled back as he nodded his head. Glancing at the three elders, he hesitated before asking in a low voice, A Euro I you should have seen that old sir right, A Euro. A Euro eyes. A Euro Xiao Yan inclined his head, naturally he knew what Xiao Zhan was referring to. A Euro Ido you know where he came from, A Euro Xiao Zhan muttered. A Euro Oei A Euro trademark V E only known him for a short time, how could I find out about his origins? A Euro these were Xiao Yan a Euro trademark s heartfelt words as he really did not know exactly where Yao Lao came from. A Euro but I know that he is an alchemist A Euro Xiao Yan smiled and added. A Euro e nonsense. A Euro Xiao Zhan rolled his eyes as he smiled whole scolding playfully. Xiao Zhan shook his head and laughed, with an excellent mood, he continued to ask Xiao Yan a few more questions about Yao Lao. However, Xiao Yan a Euro trademark s muddled and silly replies meant that in the end, Xiao Zhan did not manage to find out anything. A Euro I you little brat, I can a Euro trademark t even tell if you a Euro trademark re pretending a Euro as he gazed at a seemingly completely ignorant Xiao Yan, Xiao Zhan could not help but shake his head helplessly. With a flourish of his hand, he continued to speak, a Euro forget it, go and continue whatever it is you were doing. If you meet that old sir in the future, try not to offend him. The future of the Xiao clan depends on him a euro. Xiao Yan shrugged his shoulders, declining to comment. A euro or yum a euro a euro Xiao Yan, your current aura seems somewhat a euro a euro strong a euro the first elder stared at Xiao Yan and suddenly stuttered out. At the first elder a euro trademark s words, Xiao Zhan was also startled concentrating his gaze to sweep across Xiao Yan. A moment later, his mouth slowly gaped open and he let out in amazement, A Euro I you A Euro A Euro you have made a breakthrough to Doja, A Euro. Hearing these words, the corners of the second and third elder mouths pulled apart, as they stared in disbelief at the youth in front of them. A Euro A Hika Euro A Euro A Euro Xiao Yan scratched his head before innocently spreading out his hands, A Euro I I think so. I was just training and training as usual and then somehow made a brain I threw a euro a euro a euro. The corners of Xiao Zhan a euro trademark s eyes jumped, shocked at this development. 
he did na euro trademark t know whether to laugh or cry and said, a euro or what kind of a euro training ga euro trademark was that, a euro. Over this period of time, Xiao Zhan had already gotten used to the miracles created by Xiao Yan. With a wave of his hand, Xiao Zhan forced a smile and said, a euro or a euro trademark s good that you made a breakthrough, if you have some time go to the rank testing association to receive a rank badge a euro. Xiao Yan nodded, the corners of his mouth raising playfully, a euro or ethan can I leave now? Honestly, I just trained and trained and then broke through a euro a euro a euro. A euro I you can get going I'll read a euro a euro a euro rolling his eyes, Xiao Zhan playfully scolded him. This young fellow was simply ruffling pipa e a euro trademark s feathers. Did he truly not know that when these three elders were condensing their qi cyclone, they failed twice in a row before becoming a doge? Staring at the stiff faces of the three elders, Xiao Yan grinned and broke out into laughter. Only after Xiao Zhan began scolding him again did he scurry out of the study. Hearing the fading laughter of that youth, the three elders' faces slightly loosened up. Looking at each other, they couldn't a euro trademark t help but laugh with faces full of bitterness.